You may have noticed that Robot C code tends to use a lot more punctuation than English. The semicolons used to mark the end of statements were one example, but most Robot C punctuation comes in pairs. Punctuation pairs, like the parentheses and the square brackets in these two statements, are used to mark off special areas of code. Every punctuation pair consists of an opening punctuation mark and a closing punctuation mark. The punctuation pair designates the area between them as having special meaning to the command that they are part of. The code written between the square brackets of the motor command indicate what motor the command should use. The code written between the parentheses of the wait 1 msec command tell it how many milliseconds to wait. Different commands make use of different punctuation. The motor command uses square brackets and the wait 1 msec command uses parentheses. This is just the way the commands are set up and you will have to remember to use the right punctuation with the right commands. Paired punctuation marks are always used together and surround specific important parts of a statement to set them apart. Simple statements do the work in Robot C, but control structures do the thinking. These are pieces of code that control the flow of the program's commands, rather than issue direct orders to the robot. Simple statements can only run one after another in order, but control statements allow the program to choose the order that the statements are run. For instance, they may choose between two different groups of statements and only run one of them, or sometimes they might repeat a group of statements over and over. One important structure is task main. Every Robot C program includes a special section called task main. This control structure determines what code the robot will run as part of the main program. The left and right curly braces belong to the task main structure. They surround the commands which will be run in the program. When run, the program starts at task main's opening brace and ends at its closing brace. Task main is a control structure used to determine which lines of code are run by the program. In later lessons, you will learn about other control structures which are used to control the flow of statements. Remember that programming languages are meant to be readable by both humans and machines. Sometimes, the programmer needs to leave a note for human readers to help understand what the code is doing. For this, Robot C allows comments to be made. Comments are text that the computer will ignore. A comment can therefore contain notes, messages, and symbols that may help the human, but would be meaningless to the computer. Robot C will simply skip over them. Comments can be done in two ways. If you type forward slash forward slash at the start of a line, the rest of the line will be considered a comment. Or, if you type forward slash asterisk, then any text up until the symbol asterisk forward slash will be considered a comment. These are some of the primary features of the Robot C language. Code is entered as text, which builds statements. Statements are used to issue commands to the robots. Control structures decide which statements to run at what times. Punctuation, both single-like semicolons and paired-like parentheses, are used to set apart important parts of commands. A number of features in Robot C code are designed to help the human rather than the computer. Comments let programmers leave notes for themselves and others, and Whitespace helps to keep your code organized and readable.